Imagine the great wall of water coming around this corner, butting up against this area here, churning and rising and coming through. And I'm looking for any small signs that the uh, flood came through here, and I found one right here, I, I think at least. Look at how um, this protruding edge here is worn relatively smooth. There's no sharp edges right here, all the way through down here. You can almost see the, the marks here versus just a little further. Look how uh, sharp and angular all this is, these are the sharper edges here. And uh, that's the area that would have taken the full brunt right there and projected things out. They, they still got touched here, but not nearly as much. And then if you look up even higher, look at the very sharp edges like that. There's nothing like that at all down here. So I think that's good evidence that the flood from the St. Francis Dam wore away the rock edges. I'm coming around the corner here on the road and I've come across some plants that I remember. I believe that this plant is called Yerba Buena. I, I can't quite remember, but I do know that the leaf, if, if I have it right, is kind of uh, chewable. You can almost have it like gum. Just kind of take it up like this and like chewing tobacco, put it between the cheek and the gum and it has a refreshing flavor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember that flavor. It's good. Further up the valley, I'm probably now about less than half a mile from the uh, dam site. I'm finding a lot of debris from the former dam and a lot of coyote poop. So these big blocks here are all pieces of the dam. You can see... Uh, metal sticking out right there and down here with big blocks all over really uh, got uh, beat up as it was coming out and then over here f further there's more right here watch out for these yucca they'll uh, take, uh, take a sample of blood if you give them a chance Look at that, see how that's that composite? The rocks and the kind of the cement, the concrete. And just behind that sycamore, there's a very large boulder. I mean, the piece of the dam, maybe the biggest. Yeah, oh wow, look at that. It's actually got the steps of the dam, look at that. See that piece right there, it's really big. And do you see over on the right side there? There are those step-like structures. Those were on the uh, outer face of the dam. Uh, the not wet side. So the wet side would have been over here and then the not wet side right there. You can see those steps on uh, the images of the dam. That's the first I've seen of that. Let's see, there's a couple more up here. Some blocks there. This uh, big one here is cracked right down the center. Let's take a closer look. See the crack there? Wow, interesting. And then there's more of those metal things up at the top. That would have been the very summit of the dam. I wonder what those metal bits are about. Can you imagine the amount of energy it took to move this enormous block? The dam itself, I think, was up around the corner where you can see the sunlight right there on that hill, right around there. So it moved it quite a ways. Curious sound over there. 
almost sounds like a cicada. Or a rattlesnake. I wonder what it is. There's a fly buzzing, but that's not it. My Japan self was just excusing the cicada, but I don't think that's what it is. Now look at this. Here's some more bits of the dam. And then I think there's more. Could this be where the dam was? It says that when you don't find the dam, there's remains of concrete. Look at this. This is enormous. Maybe I've, maybe I've arrived. This doesn't look like something that's been moved, does it? And see, there's more concrete over there. I don't see any against the wall there, though. A nice big block right down there and there's more blocks all along there now those blocks there wouldn't be upstream if this was the dam site so i don't think this is the dam site i think this is just an enormous block that was moved wow let's take a photo or rather than a photo a video of me on it that's big though huh Really big. And what's this metal sticking up here, I wonder? Look at this wall. That's got to be a good 25 feet from top to bottom. And there's more metal in there. Wow, impressive. Carry on up. Continue on up. I had thoughts earlier about mountain lions. Funny, something I never really worried about when I was in my teens and hiking and exploring in this type of area. But I guess that is something that is a fact. I never worried about it. Ignor ignorance, therefore, <laughs> has its benefits. Isn't this pretty? Okay, I'll turn. Oh, no, I won't turn the camera off just yet. I'll show you. Like, why are these bits here? Kind of just scattered along in a line. More of that metal. See the, the metal piece up there on the top? Let's take a closer look at that. See that? There's some metal sticking out right there on that one. And it looks like over here I see um like is that steel cable? Yeah, it actually moves. Wow, look at how that steel cable was uh, shorn. I think that's the right word. You can tell it was like just pulled apart. Wow. More bits, pieces here. More over there. Well, these piles here, like that big mound right there, it doesn't look like, you know, the chunks that got washed, nor does this. This looks like something that was more embedded here. Or maybe it's just that the uh, sediment has come to cover it up. And here's a bit with a little bit of brick on it. Curious. Maybe that was part of a, a house structure. No, I think there was like a little housing, I mean, a house piece on it. We'll go around this way. You know, like a, a workman's house. Not a house house, but you know, a place to do business. Well, look at that. There's like a tunnel over there. See that? I don't know the highway, a culvert, I think it's called. Big pile of worn concrete and lots of bits of the dam here. What's this? It's got a some wire around it. Oh, 
Oh, it's like a, a monument that someone made. Look at that. It's like the uh, concrete bits there, with, again, with the composite, you know, with the, the bits inside of it stacked up. I wonder if that was part of, again, part of the little housing piece. Someone made a little monument. This got little grooves in it of some sort. See that? I wonder why for. A flat surface there that must have been like the top of the roadway or something. I don't know. More bricks. There's a, a brick right there. Okay, we'll get up to the top of this thing, then we'll have a look, and then I'll continue to where I think the actual dam site is. There's a cross on the hill. Can you see it? Right there, right in the center, or just hang on here. Any big blocks around there. I see a gate up ahead. There's a road right up there going across, huh? No construction zone. Unauthorized. Unauthorized person's keep out. Huh. Okay, well, I'm gonna turn this off and we'll go up there to where I see the gate and turn it back on. I'm not quite at the fence yet, the gate yet. Oh, I see somebody walking. There's some blocks and blocks, more blocks there. I think that might be the site where the dam was, right there, across the top there. We'll get a closer look and see. The profile kind of looks like it. I see two guys coming with dogs and uh, with a more concrete structure over there. We'll see. So I was talking to these gentlemen here, going across the bridge. And they confirmed that this was indeed the site of the dam. You can see where the uh, uh, concrete was up against the uh, edge right there. And then it went straight across to right there. This is indeed the dam site. And uh, the gen one gentleman confirmed that uh, 25 years ago, he, I mean, sorry, that, uh, oh, yeah. 25 years ago, this road was the main road, and he remembers coming up here as, he said, a baby, a small boy, maybe. They also warned me that there's something up here stomping around in these trees, and um, they have a big dog, and whatever it is didn't seem to be phased by the presence of the dog. So maybe I'll just call it quits right up here. Yeah, I don't see any clear you know, evidence of the dam. I wonder if that was, in fact, the concrete, like I thought, or maybe right over there. So this is it. You know, if, if it wasn't, for, sorry, my finger there. If it wasn't for their reference, I wouldn't know that the dam was here at all. There's some bits and pieces of it right there. But we've already seen a lot more of that elsewhere. Could that be a tree? water down here.
black water. So this must be it, right here. I think I'm in the thick of it now. This is where the dam was. I'll finish with a, a few photos of the dam at the very end of this. So you can see what was once here and the uh, water piled up behind it. But with that, I think I'll call it quits at the uh, disaster side of the St. Francis Dam. Take care, everybody. Be safe, but uh, not too safe. Thanks for joining me.